Okay, so hello everybody. Welcome to another Feature Friday. We are going to talk about some dashboards that we now find and manage. And the first thing you're going to ask is, well, what do you mean dashboards? You mean start centers? No, I mean dashboards. There's two new ones in, uh, in manage to talk about. One's called the operational dashboard and the other one is called the scheduling dashboard. So both have a few ins and outs to, to learn about. And I'm going to warn you ahead of time, when we get towards the end, there's going to be a little bit of disappointment that we're going to encounter. So let's uh, go experience that together and we'll get start talking about uh, dashboards. Okay, so here we go. I have logged us right into Manage, skipping all that login stuff, save us a little bit of time. And so where do these dashboards appear? Well, one is the operational dashboard up here at the top, just under Start Centers. That's the uh, location where it shows up. And then the scheduling one, as you can imagine, is down here under Planning and Scheduling. Open that module up and then down here to the scheduling dashboard. So that's where these two new dashboards appear. So how do you give users access to these? Well, as you would imagine, they are tools or applications in security groups. So if I just come down here to security groups and open one up, I'm just going to use max admin at the moment. Here's max admin, go to applications, and I'm going to filter for tools. Okay, these are tools. And so just like the mobile applications in application suite, the dashboards, here's the operational one, here's the scheduling one, they are considered tools um, from a security standpoint. If I click on the operational dashboard, uh, as most of these tools, you just grant them access as your first step, save the record, and then you come over to actions. You would locate the template that needs to be applied, the security template, I should say. There it is, op dashboard, and you come over here to actions, apply that template, and then now once that is saved and the security group is exited, then the users in that security group will see whichever or both dashboard that you have granted them access to. So let's start out and open up the operational dashboard. So in general, it just has a few tiles on it. The tiles across the top are the very familiar KPIs that you may have uh, experienced or, or are using at the moment. There's also a far right hand side, there is a, a refresh. As you can imagine, as things change, when if this has been on the screen for a while, you probably want to refresh it. Certainly for the KPI tiles, if you come over here to the three dots, you're able to jump into either the KPI manager or the KPI viewer. There are workflow assignments that if you have some workflow assignments that are pending, you will see them here. A list of quick actions, that's kind of a nice thing to have. And then of course, a list of favorites very typical applications that, that you may be uh, using. I will point out that at the top of the favorites is the brand new work orders application. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that just for fun, because that's why we do these things is to have fun. And we've done another video on the on the new work order application, but uh, you can watch that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on a single work order here so you can see how that that renders. And you have this this really nice life cycle timeline that's up here at the top, as well as all the details about the work orders. So that's kind of a nice thing to have. Okay, so we magically jump back to the operational dashboard, and that's pretty much all it is out of the box. I will mention one thing. The dashboards are graphite applications. So if you wish to make changes to them, like adding a pie chart, adding another KPI, changing the favorites list, that sort of thing, you will have to use the Maximo application framework in order for those changes uh, to be implemented. So keep that in mind. Just like the mobile applications, these dashboards will have to use the Maximo application framework, the MAF, to have changes made to them. Okay, so let's go to the scheduler now. So under planning and scheduling, go down to the scheduling dashboard, allow it to open. And the first thing you'll notice is that there's really no data here. There's nothing to look at, and there's a reason for that. I do want to point out a couple of things here first. One is way over here on the right-hand side is you have these two uh, choices, these two queries, if you will, to bring up your list of schedules. 
Since this is a graphite application, it is using the MX API object structures to retrieve data. So there are saved queries on those object structures. And if you have a different definition of my schedules that you wish to use, then you'll have to update those queries on those object structures. Moving on, I, since I have no schedules on my list, I'm a little confused because I do have schedules in this system. So I would come here to add schedules to see what's going on there, and it jumps me over into the graphical scheduling application. I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh my screen here so that I do get my list of schedules. And then I'm going to pick a particular schedule here uh, to start uh, understanding why uh, I don't have a full list of, of schedules over there within the dashboard. So the first thing I'll notice is certainly here's my status. It's an approved schedule. It all looks good. I don't see any issues there. But right smack here in the middle of the screen, there is a switch that says, oh, is this thing dashboard ready? And I would, you know, try to click on it and get all frustrated with it and say, well, you know, what's going on here? Well, then I may further come over here to the left-hand side, look under actions and say, ah, I need to prepare the schedule for the dashboard. So let me do that. I click on that and I get an error message. And it says, oh, I have to have some kind of optimization thing installed in order for my schedule to be worthy of being shown out on the dashboard. I'm going to show you what that means here in just a moment. I want to go back to the dashboard to give you a, a better sense of what's going on here. So I click OK, bail out of this, go back to the dashboard itself. And you'll notice the type of data that I would be getting about my schedule here in the dashboard does infer optimization, like scheduling issues, resource utilization. Down here we have optimization status. So the dashboard is really designed to show you the results of optimization for your list of schedules. So now let me show you what needs to be installed. I'm going to log myself out and I'm going to go in as Maz admin and go take a look at the catalog here. Okay, so here I am in as Maz Admin. I come to the upper right corner, go to Administration. I'm going to go to the Catalog, and I'm going to go to Add-ons, and down here I will see the Optimizer. And so that's what needs to be installed in the Application Suite environment in order for that functionality I just showed you to work. I'm going to click on the Optimizer. And if you want to know more about it, what it does, certainly there's the About tab over here. You can also jump out to the documentation and such. But I wanted to point out just kind of finally here that the optimizer uh, is uh, a little costly when it comes to app points. So make sure you work with your account rep to decide what these, uh, what these costs might be to actually implement the optimizer. Okay? But from here... Uh, and an administrator would be able to then come down to the uh, lower right corner here and actually begin the deployment and the activation process for that. So that's what you need to have your schedules show up in the scheduling dashboard. Okay, so you bummed out, maybe a little bit, not too bad. Point is, is that there's some new functionality in Manage, particularly these dashboards. Uh, do keep in mind if you want to make refinements to them, of course, that has to be done through the uh, application uh, framework that exists. And you'll have to look at the link um, here down in the, the description for these other videos that we have done about that. So anyway, hope that was helpful. Maybe something that uh, you could take advantage of in, in the future. And uh, we'll uh, see you next Friday and enjoy your weekend. <music>